the ancient, the unique, jewel of Italy. Let's feel the beauty of Rome together. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Rome. The city of Rome serves as the nation's capital in Italy. Additionally, it serves as the administrative center of the metropolitan city of Rome, as well as the community known as Commune di Roma Capitale, which is its own unique commune. Rome is the most populous commune in the country and the third most populous city in the European Union by population within the city limits, with 2,860,009 people living there in an area that is just 1,285 square kilometers, 496.1 square miles. The metropolitan city of Rome is the most populous metropolitan area in Italy, with a population of 4,355,725 inhabitants, according to the most recent census. It has the third highest population density of any metropolitan area in Italy. Along the banks of the Tiber River, in the region of Lazio, also known as Latium, and in the central western part of the Italian peninsula is where you'll find Rome. The Vatican City, also known as the smallest country in the world, is an independent country that is located within the city limits of Rome. It is the only example of a country that is located within a city that currently exists. Rome is sometimes referred to as the City of Seven Hills due to its geographic location, and also as the Eternal City. It is commonly accepted that Rome is the cradle of Western civilization and Christian culture, as well as the center of the Catholic Church. Rome is also known as the Eternal City. The history of Rome spans a total of 28 centuries. Rome has been a major human settlement for about three millennia, making it one of the oldest continuously occupied towns in Europe. Roman mythology places the founding of Rome somewhere around 753 BC, but the site has been inhabited for much longer than that. Latins, Etruscans, and Sabines were the three primary ethnic groups that comprised the city's early inhabitants. After some time, the city was used as the capital of the Roman Kingdom, the Roman Republic, and eventually the Roman Empire. Many people consider it to be the very first city to hold the title of imperial city and metropolis. Tibullus, a Roman poet who lived in the first century BC, is credited with coining the phrase, the eternal city. Ovid, Virgil, and Livy also used this phrase at some point in their writings. The name, Caput Mundi, has also been given to Rome, capital of the world. Following the collapse of the Roman Empire in the Western Hemisphere, which signaled the start of the Middle Ages, Rome gradually came under the political control of the papacy. In the 8th century, Rome was chosen to serve as the capital of the Papal States, which existed from that time until 1870. Over the course of 400 years, beginning with the Renaissance, practically every pope from Nicholas V, 1447 to 1455, has pursued a consistent architectural and urban design with the goal of making the city the artistic and cultural center of the globe. As a result of this, Rome first became one of the most important centers of the Renaissance, and then it went on to become the origin of both the Baroque and neoclassical styles of art. Rome became the center of activity for many famous artists, painters, sculptors, and architects, and as a result, the city is filled with masterpieces created by these artists. Rome was chosen to be the capital of the Kingdom of Italy in 1871, the Kingdom of Italy later became the Italian Republic in 1946. In 2019, Rome had 8.6 million visitors, making it the most popular tourist attraction in Italy as well as the third most visited city in the European Union. Rome ranked 14th on the list of most visited cities in the world. A World Heritage Site, as designated by UNESCO, can be found within its historic core. 
Rome is not only the city that played host to the Summer Olympics in 1960, but it is also the seat of several specialized agencies of the United Nations, such as the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, the World Food Programmer WFP, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development IFAD. The city is also home to the Secretariat of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Union for the Mediterranean UFM, in addition to the headquarters of a large number of multinational corporations, such as ENI, Enel, TIM, and Leonardo SPA, as well as national and international financial institutions, such as Unicredit and BNL. The European Union Euro, business district in Rome is home to a significant number of enterprises in the oil industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and the financial services industry. Rome has become an important center for fashion and design because to the presence of prominent international companies inside the city, and the Cinecita Studios have served as the location for the filming of several movies that have won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Economy Despite being hampered by high taxes, a tight labor market, and overly generous pensions, Italy has a diversified industrial sector. However, the country is not without its challenges. Modern-day Rome has a strong and diverse economy with thriving technology, communications, and service sectors. The city is a hub for a number of different industries, including banking, electronics, and aerospace. Principal business districts in Rome include the Esposition Universal Roma, the Torino, further south from the Euro, the Magliana, the Parco de Medici Laurentina, and the Tiburtina Valley. These districts are home to a large number of international headquarters, government ministries, conference centers, sports venues, and museums. Eno, ENI, and Telecom Italia are three of the world's 100 largest companies, and their headquarters can all be found in this city. It is unavoidable that tourism is one of Rome's primary industries, particularly given the city's abundance of renowned museums, such as the Vatican Museum, the Borghese Gallery, and the Musee Capitolini. The engineering, electronic, chemical, printing, textile, and food processing industries are all considered to be industries. Cinecita Studios, which were established in Rome in 1937 by Benito Mussolini, are largely responsible for Rome's status as the center of the Italian film industry. The 99-acre, 40-hectare, studio complex is located 5.6 miles 9 kilometers from the center of rome and is a part of one of the largest production towns in the world second only to hollywood in terms of size the city of rome which is located at the heart of a network of roads that roughly follow the lines of the ancient roman routes that began at the capitoline hill has a great deal of traffic congestion because of its location at the core of this network the ring road known as the Grande Ricordo Annulare currently completely encircles Rome at a distance of around 10 kilometers. Rome's bus and tram networks make up the city's system of public transportation that operates above ground. Construction of the Metropolitana, Rome's two-line subway system, began in the 1930s. The Metropolitana is also known as the Metro. Termini, the primary train station in Rome, is one of the largest train stations in Europe, with 29 platforms, over 150 million passengers per year, and over 400,000 passengers using the station on a daily basis. There are three airports in Rome, the Fiumicino International Airport, which serves as Italy's primary airport, the Ciampino Airport, which serves as both a civilian and military airport, and the Aeroporto dell'Erbe, which is a small airport with low passenger volume and is located about 6 kilometers north of the city center. 12 Fascinating Aspects of the City of Rome The following list provides 12 fascinating facts about Rome. 1. Modern Rome is home to more than 900 churches and features more than 280 fountains. 2. Each year, visitors to Rome's Trevi Fountain drop coins worth close to 700,000 euros into the water feature. The profits are given to Caritas so that they can continue to assist those in need. 3. By the beginning of the 4th century, the Romans had constructed a road network that extended for 53,000 kilometers. 
The proverb, all roads lead to Rome, originated from the length of a Roman mile, which was approximately 4,800 feet and was marked by a milestone. 4. In ancient Rome, the wearing of togas, which served as a symbol of Roman citizenship, was restricted to those who had been born free. Stolas, which were composed of linen and were the feminine equivalent of togas, were worn by women. 5. The she-wolf that was responsible for the upbringing of Romulus and Remus, the legendary founders of Rome, has been adopted as the city of Rome's official symbol. 6. In the year 1870, Rome succeeded Florence as the capital city of the newly unified Italy, displacing Florence in that role. 7. The law in Rome permits cats to live out their lives undisturbed in the same location where they were born. There have been reports of stray cats clambering up the walls of the Colosseum and dozing down among the remains of the Forum. 8. Women in ancient Rome colored their hair with goat fat and beechwood ashes. Red and blonde were by far the most well-liked shades. 9. Emperor Trajan is credited with constructing the first first shopping mall, which was located in Rome between the years 107 and 110 AD. It offered a diverse selection of commodities and groceries items for sale. 10. La Sapienza, which was Rome's first university and was founded in the year 1303 AD, is currently the largest institution in Europe and the second largest university in the world. 11. There is a museum in Rome that is solely dedicated to pasta. 12. The Basilica of St. Peter is the largest cathedral that has ever been built, and it can be found inside Vatican City. Thank you for being with us. Check out other videos.